Chapter 11, lesson number 7, the angle between two planes. So let's say we have plane pi 1 and n1 is a vector normal to that plane as you can see here. There is pi 1 and there is vector n1, the normal vector to that plane. What is meant by a normal vector? It's at right angles. It is at right angles to the plane. Good. And we've got this other plane, pi 2, and again we've got this vector n2, and that's the normal vector of plane pi 2. And again, this normal vector will be at right angles to that plane, pi 2. It can be shown that the size of the angle here, theta, theta, between the two planes, pi 1 and pi 2, is equal to the acute angle between the normal vectors, n1 and n2. So you can see here the size of this angle theta, it's going to be equal to the size of the acute angle between the two planes. Just imagine as well if you did have the size of this angle between the two planes, if you had theta increasing, although it would increase really to a maximum of 90 degrees. If it increased any further, say you went to 100 degrees, well the size of the angle that you'd look at between the two planes would just be the other one, it would be the acute one, so it would really just be 80. So you really say that the maximum angle between two planes is always 90 degrees. Because of that, because really the size of the angle between the two planes is equal to the acute angle between the normal vectors, well, we're really just wanting the angle between the vectors. So we can use our good old friend, this formula here from higher. Remember you had cos theta equals a dot b over the magnitude of a times magnitude of b. However, in this case, you would have n1 dot n2 over the magnitude of n1 multiplied by the magnitude of n2, where n1 and n2 are the normal vectors. Let's try some examples. So, example 1, the plane pi 1 has equation 2x add 3y add z equals 5, and plane pi 2 has equation x plus y take away z equals 0. Calculate the size of the acute angles between pi 1 and pi 2. So we've got this equation of the plane, pi 1. Just remember with the equation of the plane, the 2, the 3 and the 1, so the coefficients of the x, the y and the z come from the normal vector to that plane. So we can say that the vector n1 will have the components 2, 3 and 1. And that will be a vector that's normal to plane pi 1, so at right angles to pi 1. With our plane pi 2, that is x add y take away z equals 0. And once again, the coefficients of x, y, and z come from that normal vector. So we can say the vector n2 will have the components 1, 1, and negative 1. And that will be the vector normal to plane pi 2. The size of the angle between the planes pi 1 and pi 2 is really the size of the angle between these normal vectors. So, just on this page, we've got the normal vector 1, normal vector 2. To work out the size of the angle then between the planes, work out the size of the angle between the vectors, and we use this formula. Cos theta equals n1 dot n2 over the magnitude of n1 times the magnitude of n2. If we start subbing in values then, so n1 dot n2, we're wanting the scalar product or the dot product. So you'd have 2 times 1, add on 3 times 1, add on 1 times negative 1. On the bottom here, the magnitude of n1, just remember, that's going to be the square root of, and we'd have 2 squared plus 3 squared plus 1 squared. The magnitude of n2, that will be the square root of 1 squared plus 1 squared plus negative 1 squared. Simplify that. If you work out the top, you would end up getting 4. Brilliant. If you work this, it would be the magnitude of, good, that would be 14. Other one would be 3. Giving you an answer then, if you stick that into the calculator, 4 over root 14 times root 3, dunk, 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 you get 0 0.617 and so on. We're wanting to get the size of the angle, but just now we've got cos of the angle, so we would have to work out cos to the minus 1 of that answer that was on the calculator. If you do that to one decimal place, you end up getting 51.9 degrees, which means then that the acute angle between planes pi 1 and pi 2 is 
0.9 degrees. And just remember, the size of the angle between the planes will always be less than 90, which it is. Woo! Well done. Try some of these questions looking at the angle between the two planes. Just remember, the size of the angle between the planes is going to be equal to the acute angle between the normal vectors. Page 45 in the Unit 3 booklet. If you still need the booklet, send me an email. That's all. Bye. Woo.